Hey everyone, this is David Victor for DCTV, and I'm in front of room 119 at the Bud Building here at the San Joaquin Delta College campus, where we will interview Tony Espinosa, Director of Athletics at San Joaquin Delta College. The best part here is I have a very supportive, uh, supportive staff, our coaching staff. We have a lot of veteran coaches. Um, you know, some have been here upwards of 20, 25 years. Um, so very supportive. Uh, if I needed any assistance along the way, they've been they've been really supportive. So uh, it's really helped me ease my way into uh, into these first two years. Uh, we have very very successful athletic programs here, and you know those are just a few of the things. Our men's basketball program won a championship last year, conference title. Um, I think it's been a few years since they had won one. Uh, women's basketball went to the final four. We had like four or five women's teams advance, I think, to the final. Final Four, because we had softball, water polo, women's soccer, and women's basketball. Those four for sure advancing to the Final Four last year. So I gotta give all the credit back to you. The coaches are great, the support staff's great. I mean, we set our athletes up for success here, and uh, we really push to get the kids to have a goal of moving on, hopefully to continue their athletic career, but at minimum move on and continue your academics. Get that four-year degree. And go out and a lot of players from career. the baseball team have even been drafted oh, yeah. to the Major League Baseball. Yeah, we had a few. We had a few get drafted last year, and I think we had like 19 move on to four-year schools last year. Just crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. A lot of success for sure. All of our coaches have a plan in place for their athletes. Now, is it to say it's the pl same plan for each athlete? No. Some are set up for hey, get a degree. Let's see what happens after two years if you're gonna continue your education. Some are, yeah, you're gonna get your degree, you're gonna transfer on to a four year, you're gonna continue your athletic career and your, you know, continue your academics. Um, some may just move on for academics only. So there's a lot of different routes that these people, that these athletes can go. So I think that's the best thing that we do is, is making sure that it's individualized and that we're focusing on the next step for those athletes. I think there's some things that we, we need to work on with our facilities. We, we have a few facilities where we're, uh, we're reaching the lifespan of some, some, of the, some of the turf facilities. So that's the focus for us right now within our department is, hey, what areas need to be maintenance and what areas need to be potentially looked at for replacement. There, there has been discussion of uh, where we move you know, in regards to a facility for beach. Financially, it's it's an expense, it's a, it's a major expense to, to be able to bring those facilities in. Um, and then the discussion of where those facilities would be located would be uh, obviously a question that we have to figure out as we move forward with that discussion. The men's side of volleyball is strictly down in Southern California. That hasn't moved north yet, not to say that it won't in the future. Um, and if it does, I'm sure it'd be something that you know we, we, we would sit back and consider. The next sport that has been discussed uh, about potentially being an emergency sport here at Delta would be uh, women's wrestling. Um, so we're, we're looking at potentially having in the 2021 spring, uh, potentially introducing uh, women's wrestling to uh, adding it to our current list of sports, which would put us at 21 overall sports. We don't offer men's or women's tennis. Um, it used to be a program here in a old team picture on the on the wall back there I think from late 80s early 90s it goes back to we, we do a, um, a yearly survey testing interest um, of incoming students and we haven't had the numbers to support you know possibly looking at introducing tennis if, if we have the interest um, and we can afford the expansion of, of programs I'm open to discussing, you know, th then it's just figuring out what, which sport is next. You know, should it be tennis? Should it be women's wrestling? Um, you know, at what point do we, you know, possibly look at introducing, you know, men's volleyball if it does move north? Um, so there's, there's a discussion of quite a few uh, sports and what sports should be next would be obviously a discussion that we'd have within our department.